whether you're paid a million shillings, you will never really be happy. I think we all cut out to do something. Um, the way we are created, God is a God of purpose. And uh, God creates that purpose. Every one of us has a particular purpose. So when we are created, I believe that he puts that purpose in every one of us. Mm -hmm. So every one of us, I really do believe that uh, there's something that we actually cut out for. And we're actually gifted to do it. We are talented to do it. And uh, we have the power to be able to do it. I agree that you, it's you, every one of us has a purpose in life. The difference is the parents, or you, we come from different environments where you have children who are made to believe that this is what you should do, and others who actually are nurtured into that. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to say become a singer, for example, and your parents want you to become a doctor and the other ones paying the school fees, it then becomes a conflicting issue. Okay. Yeah. The problem is that sometimes when we put money, when we put these other rewards and how the world appreciates some of these things, that's where we, I think we begin to go wrong. Then we begin thinking of it in terms of what will give me the most money, not what will give me the most satisfaction. So I believe, I really do believe that, uh, that one has to quiet themselves down long enough to ask ourselves, uh, you know, what is this thing that I'm so passionate about? At that time, or so I thought, it was the in thing. If you, you either wanted to be a lawyer, a doctor, or a pilot. I wanted to be a lawyer because uh, my uncle is a lawyer. And I thought him driving a big car was good motivation mm -hmm. for me to as well do that. But that wasn't me. At, I mean, after form four and after doing that stint in the children's home, I realized that's not me at all. The major challenge has always been... Um, the big car, those big things, the trophies and the, and, and, and the, the things that we get from the things that we do. Uh, and that has a way of um, kind of crowding us out such that we are not able to come to that place and ask ourselves, what is it that I'm really cut out for? I believe that whatever you're cut out for is already somewhere inside of you. You can actually, it's your heartbeat really. It's something that, that uh, you get excited about. You ha you're passionate about it. It's something that you desire to do. In fact, the way that I look at it in a radical way, I keep saying that the thing that you're cut out for, nobody has to pay you to do it. It's something you can actually do for free because you enjoy it. The, 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 the primary reward for the thing that you are cut out for is the passion that you have for it and, and the, the fulfillment that you get out of it. What is it that drives you? What is the one thing that you can do? If I took you, Micah, and I roused you from sleep, would you read the news? Mm -hmm. If you'd rather do something else, then I think it doesn't matter whether you're paid a million shillings, you will never really be happy. It is important, I think, um, in my opinion, to also get input, I think, especially from those people who are around you, because it's, it's always important also to look at your, at your own life uh, through the eyes of the people that know you, the people that mm -hmm. care about you. Maybe if you have parents, if you're a young person, you have parents, or you have, you know, even your teachers, for example, those people who have a great influence in your life will have a say. They can actually tell you, I think, from observing you, from watching you, you're gifted in a certain area. And I think once you come to that place where you realize that maybe this is what I'm cut out for. I enjoy doing this. I'm passionate about a certain things. I'm, I'm passionate about reading news. I'm passionate about business. It's important for you to sharpen that, that talent. It is important for you to go to school. You know, pursue it. Go and get some education. Because the talents and the gifts that are within us are usually very much in a raw form. And it will serve you very well for you to uh, get some education. Go and, uh, go, go and get yourself some good education in that particular field. And then also find other people who have been successful in that area. And try and model your life around those kind of people. Talk to people around. Because at the end of the day, no man is an island. We cannot, we cannot be who we are on our own. You cannot make it in this life on your own. You need other people. You need input fr from other people. So I will say you need to... Um, uh, find those voices that will help you, people who are around you. Number two, you need some good education. I think we can never underestimate, mm -hmm. under, underestimate the importance of uh, going to school. And then uh, finally, look for those role models, people you can model your life around, especially in the area.
that you feel that uh, you want to pursue. Okay.